de-stressing, maybe as easy as stretching. Yeah, I did not know this, but joining <laughs> us this morning to tell us all about it is D1 Training out. General Manager Damara Gilbert and expert trainer Anthony Yurlis. Thanks so much for coming in so early this morning. Yeah, yeah, no problem. problem. This is a, apparently the time of day that we can kind of de-stress, and you're going to show us some of those things. But I've never heard of D1 Training, so before we get into that, tell us about D1 what Training. What is D1? So D1 is a, we're a sports training facility, and we uh, service athletes uh, from ages of 5 all the way up to 18 and also adults. So we uh, specialize in fitness and sports related things just to help them uh, reach a goal. You pick the goal, we help you get there. So it's just physical training? Yeah, if we do physical training, we do team training, sports training. We do everything that comes as far as training. But why is stretching in the morning so important? Uh, so stretching in the morning is just kind of a great way to loosen up your body to start the day. Um, as far as like, because a lot of times when people work, we're, we're sitting at we're sitting at a desk, we're sitting mm -hmm. in a chair, so yeah. we're sitting for long periods of time. Everything starts to tighten up and get stiff. Yeah. So we just want to make sure that we kind of do our part to prepare ourselves for that. Day, yeah, right? especially like your neck when you're looking at computers right, exactly. and screens all day. So show us what are some of the moves that we should be doing yeah. first thing when we wake up. Okay. No problem. So typically when we first wake up, right, we can go to just like a spot on the floor here. Uh -huh. So what we can do is we'll take a seat. What we can do is we just have our feet straight stretch forward. Uh huh. All right. We just a lot of things we want to focus here is just breathing. Nice Ooh, deep like breaths breathe. throughout. <laughs> right. So we just want to kind of reach fold forward. Depending on your mm -hmm. range of motion, you could go towards the ankles or you could go towards the feet. Uh huh. Um, and how you want to time this out is you can just kind of focus on taking like maybe five to six deep breaths. Maybe you can set a timer for like 30 seconds, and we just kind of want to focus on being nice and relaxed. Big breathing in, big breathing out. Um, so this is one of the stretches we can do as well. Um, so we can also come up. Uh -huh. So like you said earlier, a lot of the stress on the shoulders, yes. all that stuff, right? So we can kind of grab around here. We're just going to pull slightly, nice, easy pull. We're not that trying to like good. yank our head off or anything like that. <laughs> so just a nice, easy pull. Again, we can count through breathing, right? Five, six deep breaths, maybe like 30 seconds. And we can kind of release that tension. We can also go tilt the head kind of towards the armpit, tilt uh -huh. the chin towards the armpit. You'll get a little bit of a deeper stretch down there. And again, you're just holding that for, you know, a few deep breaths and stuff like that. Um, also, so one I like to do to kind of help decompress the low back. Um, uh -huh. A lot of times when we're seated, you know, back starts to tighten up, that kind of thing. So we can take our, so for example, our left foot, we can cross it over uh -huh. just like this. And then we take our right arm. We're just going to grab here. Left arm goes back. We can go to the elbow and we just kind of twist and kind of let the spine decompress through that way. Again, try to be present, focus on deep breathing. Nice and under control. And like I said, holding for about five, six deep breaths or maybe about 30 seconds, maybe even a minute if you're kind of, you know, advanced, yeah. advanced with it. So we can come out of there and then we can also just same thing Do with the, the other, side. other side. Boom, coming over across. Again, nice deep breathing, holding that stretch. All so. of these you repeat on both sides. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and you know, with a lot of these stretches, it's something that a lot of people may do like at the end of a workout. Right. But I don't know. I mean, I certainly am not in the habit of just doing them regularly when I'm not planning on working out. Right. Um, so, yes, it can be something that's done regularly. So it can be something that's done like when you wake up. It's also a great option to do like before you go to bed to kind of help the muscles relax, to kind of in increase the quality of sleep as far as like, you know, making sure everything is just, you know, just nice and relaxed. Yeah. Yeah. And we always do stories about, you know, like preventing injury. It's good to stretch, but still like people just dismiss it as like, I mean, people even leave workouts early. Yes, yeah. I know. Yeah. I'm like, this is the oh. best part. Yeah. Yeah. Don't go. Yeah. Uh, the last five minutes of stretching, I'll just leave. But what, sure. what's the importance of it? Um, I, I believe that it, it really brings us to the present in the now. A lot of uh, time, a lot of stress, a lot of depression. Uh, it just comes from us worrying about things in the future. But when it comes far as stretching, it brings us to the present and brings us to focusing on what we're into right now and focusing on our body. Because with stretching, it includes the, increases the uh, uh, blood flow to mm -hmm. our muscles and gives you a clear mind, helps you, uh, helps you just overall feel better. Yeah, give us yeah. another example while we're yeah, talking no to problem. So another one, so this one, we're gonna have to do a little transition work. Okay. okay so we're gonna go into just a common one that's just called like a child's pose. Oh, so, yeah. Yeah. right, so we're probably all familiar with this one. So we want legs out wide. You're just gonna drive your hips back as much as you can. Just kind of sitting in that position. Now I'll admit my range is not great with this one. <laughs> I need to increase and improve on these as well. So just again, focus on nice deep breathing. You really wanna stretch out. If the shoulders bother you a little bit, you can bring the elbows in and you can hold it like this as well. Mm -hmm. um, there's tons of modifications as far as like making it more accessible, easier to the body. So and we're so just, yes, we be doing 
doing this even if we're not working out? Like just any yeah. any, any and every day? Yeah, absolutely. Anybody, everybody, if you can get into these positions and, and alternatives, it's, yeah. it's nothing but benefits. Right, and you yeah. told us that um, D1, that you guys have all sorts of classes in Mont Bellevue, yes. right? That's where you guys yes. are? Yes, yes. I mean, tell me real quick, I mean, just classes that people can take as individuals. There are there classes they can sign up for just to? Yeah, so we, we started our uh, rookie age group, which is the 7 to 11 age, uh -huh. and then we ha also have our uh, junior high age, which is the Devo, our prep, oh. which is a uh, high school age, and then we also have our adult classes. Uh -huh. And so those are, the, and we offer a wide range of, of different specialists uh, for that. Awesome. Is it important for kids just because of sports? Like they should get involved? No, in it's, it's overall, you know, kids just need to be active. You know, it's recommended that they at least get uh, 90 minutes a week. So with that being said, you know, uh, just getting them active, getting them uh, motivated. Also, the socialism that comes mm -hmm. in with our yeah. classes, right. you know, with everything going on within the school system and, and yeah. outside, you know, just taking that time out for physical activity to get that blood flow going and, and releasing uh, all that energy. All right. All right, Jamari and Anthony, sorry to interrupt you. This has been like obviously our favorite segment of the day. <laughs>